it's great to boost the garage. Um, just wanted to show you my car to start off the channel. Um, show you what I've been doing to it. Uh, took a long ass time to get where it is, probably about two years or so. Yeah, so I'll show you that. Yes, here she is. Labor of love. Did pretty much all the work myself. Um, I didn't put the clutch in because I didn't have time. I was working a lot, so I gave it to a guy I know that's really good to carry me. If I had the stuff, the lift and all that to do it, I would just do it myself, but you guys know how that is. So it's a 1.8T um, stock block for now. The head's been recently rebuilt, all brand new OEM stuff. Uh, new head studs, all that stuff. Um, this is a CX Racing GT30 size turbo, like 62 millimeter or so, I think. Um, it's about $450 on Amazon or eBay. It's a little bit cheaper than I wanted to go, but I had a $1,000 Turbonetix on there, 60-1. Um, 57 trim and I blew that within not very long so I figured I was gonna go cheap and see how that went everything's been good so far um, I got the kinetic motorsports uh, top mount manifold sits nice and high up in there um, I bought a cheap uh, Amazon intercooler pipe kit and cut it up and routed it myself that's not how it came um, I also painted the, uh, the pipes black with ceramic coating, did all the intake myself, uh, it's got a CT tuning, uh, diverter valve, uh, manual boost controller tucked up in the back, short ram intake, just a little new, new speed, uh, heat shield, custom catch can, all AN fitting, um, catch can routed hoses. I uh, got the IE Motorsports um, adapter kit inside the breather. All coolant hoses are silicone. Got the metal flanges. That's a common thing on the 1.8s. The plastic ones break. Um, what else? Uh, 630 semen injectors. Uh, three bar fuel pressure regulator. Um, all the lines have been changed. Got stainless steel braided, all that. Um, it's got a Unitronic Stage 3 tune on it, uh, 630 file. So, right now it's on 17 psi. Uh, if you ran an N75 valve, which comes stock on these to control the, uh, the wastegate frequency and the boost, it would run 20 psi if you just had an N75 and you weren't controlling the boost yourself. Um, I also have a DW fuel pump, which is an intake pump that drops in, and that can support 400, 500 horsepower easy. This thing runs pretty rich, shoots flames out the back. Um, got the Gates timing belt with the manual uh, integrated engineering tensioner kit, so you don't have to worry about the hydraulic tensioner failing. I mean, it's just for peace of mind. It's more of a high horsepower setup. So since I have the fuel pump and all this, if I turned it up to 20 PSI or more, it would be over 300 to the wheels. Um, if you don't believe me, just go on any of the VW forums and the guys that are running a similar setup. So uh, 25 PSI would be well over 350 to the wheels. 17 PSI as I run it now, I would guess is about 280 to the wheels because it feels pretty quick. Uh, got the stage one clutch in there, good for 300 foot pounds. Um, what else? I'm trying to think, man. It's just I got a full three inch stainless steel exhaust, custom downpipe, uh, tile, 38 millimeter wastegate. I just have the open dump run down, like so it shoots out, you know, by the floor. Um, I mean, everything's been touched on here. I even have the uh, stainless steel injector cups. I mean, I've done every gasket, you know, 
everything's been fresh every clamp every nut every bolt I'm gonna delete the battery eventually and put it in the back so I can free up all that room maybe tuck some stuff I'm gonna tuck you know it's a work in progress still but um yeah man she's pretty quick really happy how it came out it does have its little things here and there like the tune doesn't idle super smooth because it's a big turbo tune for high horsepower so the idle's a little jumpy once in a while and I've changed the math and messed with it and you know it only does it once in a while um, I have Raider work wheels on it right now uh, Zimmerman drilled rotors the the Mark IV GLIs came with the bigger brakes than usual. Um, the deep dish in the back. So I also just have uh, a three-inch uh, tip just coming out the back a little bit. Nothing special. Didn't really care. So let me show you the inside real quick. So they tricked out the GLI for this year. The, this is a 2005 and a half, the last one. You get all the aluminum pedals, all the trim. Sorry guys, it's dirty right now. It comes with Ricardo seats, standard, that are bucketed. Very fucking, very comfortable. Hold you in really nice. Uh, I got the boost gauge on the column. Nice and simple. Six speed manual. O2M tranny, the same one that came in the R32 for that year. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty simple car. The shifter position is really good. Like, you can touch your pinky to the steering wheel and the shifter. It's, it's a perfect setup, it really is, very smooth. I got the back seats out and all that stuff for weight reduction. <laughs> You know what I mean? So. Yeah, this is my baby. This is one of those cars where you're like, I, I will never sell this car. You know what I mean? The amount of hours that I put into this thing, money, blood, sweat, tears, all that. This is like, you got to keep this car forever. I could never stand someone else to be driving my car. You know what I mean? So. My next project is probably going to be a VRT, VR6 Turbo. Uh, here in Boosted Garage, we do mostly Euros, and you're going to be seeing my buddy Matt. He's got a 2.5 um, Mark V Jetta that he's about to turbo, and he's already got you know full bolt-ons and all tricked out. So he'll be on the channel a lot too, um, showing you his car and doing different installs. And I'm going to be going to meets and uh, interviewing people that we know because there's a pretty good car scene down here. We know a lot of people with some high horsepower stuff, not just Euro either. We got Supras, um, WRXs, you know, all that stuff. All right, guys, I'll be back when I go to the dyno showing you videos. And like I said, we're just starting this channel, so please subscribe if you're watching this. Um, share it with your friends. If you like Euros, if you like Turbo, I mean, we're going to be doing all kinds of stuff. So thanks for watching.